Tucker and Hume from the front row. Monroe and Ludby off the second row. Cook and Ludby third row. Boland and Conroy fourth row. Sterling off the rear of the grid. We are 4SS Junior Racing. We're ready to go. This will be eight laps of hectic four stroke Junior Racing. The short course is taken. Hume is really fast. Tucker has been getting very, very quick. Jack Munro has been showing electrifying speed in these 4SSs. We are about to get eight laps of 4SS Junior Racing underway. Through the sweeper they come. Here we go then. Do we get a green light start first time? We are ready to go racing. Do we go green? Yes, we do. Hume gets the whole shot. Tucker's going to slot right in behind him. Yes, he does. But Munro is going to muscle his way through. So it is Munro that's gone to second. I'm pretty sure that was him. There's two come together at the back. But Munro it is who's gone to second as Hume tries to clear off. Munro there will chase him down. Tucker will stay with him. Ludby's gone to fourth. And they're all sliding through CSG onto Electro. They go. Now they're into RHQ. Back up towards me. Tucker right behind those front two and through goes your man, Hayden Hume. Jack Munro now has caught up with him already. Right on his tail, all the way down into Askins. Does he got the inside? Yes, he does. Munro to the front of this race. The experienced KA4 driver previously. Now he's in the 4SS and he looks mighty experienced, but Hume stays on his tail. Through they go. Through Howards. Now they come on to 12 and 13. Now they head to the sweeper. Tucker still chasing him down. Hume now following Munro. Past the Grants, down they go. Point 0.394 between them. It's on between those front two because Hume has been showing mighty fast speed. But now he's got a super quick Jack Munro to contend with. M Munro then, what can Munro do? Through they go, through 12 and 13. Munro trying to clear off from Hume. It looks like he's opened it up another tenth on this one. Hume though, right on his tail. Hume. Dead in the head down, 0 0.391 and Hume's gone quicker. Hume put a quicker lap in. Through they go, through DPE Superstore. Onto the one fixed plumbing flip-flop. Back towards me, through the flip-flop now. Munro and Hume. Through Electro, big slide there from Tucker. Not well, not good. On they continue, through RHQ. Two laps down. And Munro now starting to stretch the legs on the number 18 car. Looks like he's going to clear off. Hayden Hume cannot go with that pace and round Conroy on the 42. Is your order. Back towards me in the one six plumbing flip flop. Munro, Hume goes through, chasing him down. Point six is the gap now and he's starting to get away. He's starting to eke out a lead as Munro on three laps down. Hume at the moment cannot answer the speed of the flying number 18. Through comes oh, Cody Hume, Tucker. Tucker. Cook. Ludby, Sterling, then Tommy Ludby, then Boland and Conroy. That's the order at the moment as they go through the sweeper. Heading past the grandstand, the leading duo. And it looks like Munro has got the making of a good race pace today. Munro looks mighty quick. Through one fixed plumbing flip flop he comes. Onto CSG, now he's into Electro. Through RHQ they go. And now they head up to Lisa's Hill, into Patrice's. Munro goes through, followed by Hayden Hume. Munro's done a 56.497. No catch in the fly in number 18. Through goes Kobe Tucker into the 57.5. Last lap time for your leader, Jack Munro, the Kalula kid. He is giving it some jandle. And it is going to be a comfortable first heat win. Eight laps completed. The 4SS Juniors, heat number one. And it is a win to the number 18. Jack Munro gets the win. Fist pump for Jack. Second. Looks like there's enough room. And they've all pretty much formed up to get them on the short course. Indeed we do. So, from the front, Munro and Hume. Second row. Kobe Tucker and Kieran Sterling, what have they got this time round? <coughs> Sterling came through the pack last time, remember. Kobe Tucker couldn't quite go with the front two. Munro was unstoppable. Who's made the right change for heat number two? It's four SS juniors. It's eight laps of hectic four banger racing. We are about to go rumbling. We are away at Hume. Gets the whole shot. A 
It looks like Sterling's gone with him. Sterling, I think, nab. Oh, bit of shenanigans. We got the front end twitching everywhere from Sterling, but he's not giving it up. Now he's going to have to. Oh, he had to yield in the end. Monroe was having that spot. Whether you liked it or not, my friend, he was coming through. There's been a drama for Julian Cook. He's off the back. Will Jeff Monroe leave it before he tries to steam his way into the lead of this race? Hayden Hume will have other ideas. Through Howard's they go. Whoa, very nearly side by side already. This is getting very exciting. Now we've got some real racing going on. We've got two two by twos. So we've got Hume right behind him is Monroe, then Sterling. Right behind him is Tucker as they've gone through Fleam. Freeman Global Hub for the first flying lap. Back towards me, through the flip-flop. Hugh, Monroe, Sterling, Tucker, Conroy, Boland. Behind Boland is Ludby, that's Caitlin Ludby. Whoa, very nearly sideways. Then it's Tommy Ludby, following Tommy. It's the drama for Julian Cook. Meanwhile though, out front, nearly staying where he is. Hume hangs on, but now Munro makes his move. Munro, he goes through with Askins to the lead of this race. Jack Munro assumes his front row position yet Two again. Askins, they go. Jack the leaders are already into Howard's. It's a huge lead for Munro. He's giving it some and showing Hume what he can do. Hume at the moment has no answer to the speed of that number 18 car. Yeah. Down into Howard's now. It's going to finish up Munro, Hume and Tucker by the looks of it because Tucker should just stay ahead of Kieran Sterling. Heat number two for SS Juniors. A win. Number 18, Jack Munro, fifth pop. Already, so Munro and Hume will lead them through on the short course. A little bit of touching, bumping and boring going on. The touch of love. From Caitlin Lubby on the back of Kieran Sterling. Says, thank you very much. I'll have a piece of that. So, into 13 they go. Onto the sweeper. 10 laps of racing. 4SS Junior Style Ipswich Car Club. The pre final. Heat number three. Do we go green? Yes, we do. And Munro, this time absolutely launched off the line and instead of being balked and selling him for second he takes the whole shot and he will surely say see you later alligator i'm out of here he is going to hit that turbo button and the afterburners will be on rowdy comes then through rhq monroe comes up the hill kobe tucker in pursuit hume trying to go inside doesn't make that stand the back straight next. they go no catch in the fly though, Jack Munro. He really has come to show the skill of that flying number 18 for SS Junior Kart. Over the line he's up on the brakes now, very late. Doesn't get anywhere near though. Meanwhile, Munro goes past. Comfortable is Munro. Through Freeman Global Hub. Now they're into DPE. Back towards me. Munro goes through. Hume goes through, Tucker goes through, then Sterling, then it's Cookie, it Patrizes, behind. but the leader, he's been there all race long, the chequered flag awaits for SS Juniors, the pre-final, heat number three, it is a win to the number 18, Jack Munro, second, the 45, Hayden from the front row. Jack Munro and Hayden Hume. Jack being an ultimate favorite for this one. You cannot count him out for the win. Second row, Kobe Tucker and Kieran Sterling. Third row, Julian Cook and Harrison Conroy. Fourth row, Caitlin Ludby and James Boyland. And off the rear of the grid, Tommy Ludby. To sort out the final, dead man's final. Final only counts. Do we go green first time? Yes, we do. Whoa, Kobe Tucker. Looks like he slotted second. Yes, he did. He went past Hume and Munro got the whole shot and breezed away. I think that's Thomas Ludby at the back, is it? Or is it Sterling? I think it's Ludby. 
Find out when they come back past me. Oh, that's not Ludby. That could well have been Sterling. Oh, it was as well. Disaster. Meanwhile, Munro away with the lead and Hume goes up the inside of Tucker already on the first flying lap, taking no prisoners. So Munro away with it through Askins. Now he's onto the back straight. Munro heads down into Howard's. Through he goes. Through Howard's. Onto the sweeper. Munro looks unstoppable this weekend. Doesn't look like anybody's going to get anywhere near him. So Munro looks like he's already away with the final win. And he's got eight, nine long laps yet left. Jack through they go, Munro. Through, the... through he goes. Through into Electro. Now he's into RHQ. Back up towards me into Patrice's. Had it all his own way, pretty much all day long. Hume gave him all he could. Kobe Tucker wasn't quite there to get one and two, but very good and did well enough to get three. Up. Behind them, on to CSG, now he's into Electro. Down to RHQ for the last time, the speed bowl. Up he comes into Patrizzi's. Heading down to Askins one more time. He has absolutely ragged it all day long as Jack Munro. He deserves the accolades he's going to get. He deserves the win. And he heads through Howard's for the last time. For SS Junior, the final, the winner, it is Jack Munro.